Sand dunes are coastal features which are uh, formed by the action of wind. Whenever wind blows across a beach or along the surface of the sand, it carries with it sand particles. Now the sand particles trap are trapped by any obstacle or any object that you have on the beach. The entire coast of Goa is backed by sand dune. It's well known globally that sand dunes are or act as the first nature's first line of defense. That's why sand dunes are also known as features of coastal stability. They are just behind the beach and they face the ocean directly. During stormy times or stormy seas, the wind uh, speeds uh, reach 60 kilometers an hour. So that pushes the waves over the beach and they come right up. And it is the pioneer frontal sand dune that stops the sea from going behind. Now indirectly, the sand dune stop the oceanic waves from entering the sea. Now that is precisely what happened and what we proved uh, through our research after the Indian Ocean Tsunami of December 2004. And it is the high sand dunes that stop the that tsunami waves from entering some of the villages. Whereas in area, all the sand dunes have been leveled because there are small houses there. There the tsunami wave overshot the beach. It overshot those houses and everybody died there. Beach dune system, which is the most dynamic because it changes every day. If you destroy a forest, you can get it back. To meddle with the beach dune system, you may never get it back. It's fascinating. Uh, uh, what do you call it, gift of nature. There it says that sand dunes are as CRZ1. CRZ1 means those are sacred areas. Those are areas which are ecologically important, ecologically sensitive, and you cannot build on them. You cannot, you only have to preserve them because they are the nature line of defense. So sand dunes are protected by law. It so happens that today the sand dunes are under, under attack. Beach checks, you have private checks, all of which are impacting and spoiling the coastal sand dunes. Public from the builders, okay, why should it be that way? Why I cannot build on the beach? Why it should be this, that? It went on and on. Uh, and even today we are fighting. With the lady who came and attacked me virtually, actually. She said, no, no, this is my property, you get out from here. That was the, actually that happened. Violations can be a, a variety of things. Somebody building a house illegally, Somebody making a road through a dune by leveling a dune, throwing garbage on the dune. As we see, the whole coast of Goa is, 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 is quite dirty. Then uprooting or cutting uh, coastal forests, that is a violation. And we also have the violations by the, uh, by the government itself. For example, the tourism department has put those uh, watchtowers on a dune. The first time in the country where such an experiment was conducted and it was successful. And that also shows how easy it is to regenerate dunes which are degraded or which are spoiled. We should have what we don't have. These are the coastal sand dune parks. Sand dune park doesn't involve any great research, doesn't involve uh, uh, big, big money. Scientists or as uh, citizens or as society, as government, we should uh, realize or imperatively note that the coast, especially the coastal sand dunes are very, very important because as said before, they are the nature's first line of defense and they protect the hinterland from the forces of the ocean. It has been proved to our research and the tsunami that occurred in Tamil Nadu, the Indian Ocean tsunami has taught us very grave lessons. Now, since we already know over time, our research has shown and we have been observing, uh, we should see to it that the coastal sand dunes are preserved and have to be preserved at all costs. And as far as the beach dune system is concerned, there is no compromise whatsoever.